Hey, what's going on? So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the 1950s New York City Environment Megapack Modular with Interiors and Characters by Liartis Studios. Now, Liartis did send me this, so just keep that in mind. But I have actually purchased a lot of Liartis Studios uh, pack and maps and stuff like that because, like I said, there's not a lot of... Uh, people out there that can come up with some photorealistic stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at this here. It looks really cool, 1950s. But to be honest, it's you know if you want like a city building environment type of deal, you unless you're really from the 1950s, you really won't really know the difference. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it looks like they actually have some characters as well that they are creating for this 1950s in a you know, cars as well. And I actually bought this truck right here because it looks so cool. And I'm probably going to get that motorcycle too because I love that old school rust look to it. So, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this map right now. So I'm going to press F11. And just a disclaimer, the Space Marine does not come with the New York City map. This is, this is my review Space Marine guy. So here is the map. And like I said, you know, if... If you're trying to create like a city type of deal, this is pretty amazing. And let me show you real quick how how big this spot is. This is really cool for the price. And it's actually on sale right now for 170. So here's one side, let's call this New York. And you have the other side, which is Newark or New Jersey. So you have two. So let me go over there on that side. It's really freaking cool. You can use it as a backdrop or if you want to create your own game in a city, you know, like in a city, you know, like kind of deal. Look at this. I've been looking for something like this in the marketplace for a while and I try to check it every day. And I think I saw this like last week. This thing is humongous. And what's cool about it is I didn't know this, but it actually comes with cars as well that you can drive around the city, which I'm going to hop on to uh, Unreal Engine 4 to show you that so you can see it in both engines. I mean, look at this. This just reminds you of that one scene with Neo when it was destroying that freaking city. How cool, right? We go with that bridge. I mean, you can populate the crap out of the city, which is super cool. Let me check if that's a volumetric cloud, because if not, we're going to add one in there, because it's, it's just, it looks so freaking cool. I mean, I can fly here, like, all day. Oh, I just hit that thing. Oh, and it also comes with this little lake area. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just show you pretty much what the assets look like uh, as far as the overall overview, so you can kind of see what you're purchasing. All right, so here is the overview of what you're gonna be getting, the New York City assets. I mean, this is a mega pack, so there's quite a lot of stuff in here that you're getting. Like I said, bits and pieces, like rocks, but you also get the cars in here, so you don't have to buy them separately. So see if I can kind of zoom in in here. You're going to see you get a tram, you get a limo, some old school cars. And that truck that I told you all about is actually in here as well. It's right here. Now, what's cool about these trucks and these cars, are, I mean, they're highly customizable. I mean, look at this. I can move it around. They have their really nice. They're actually in a nice blueprint, and I can change the metallic if I want that. And if you want the dirt, and this is fun right here. Check this out. You know, bring it to like five, and now you have this really nice, gritty look to that. I mean, I've never seen anything like this in the marketplace. This is actually really cool how easy it is to customize these cars and paintings and stuff like that. It is really freaking cool. But yeah, so that being said, let's go hop in Unreal Engine 4 so I can show you uh, how you can drive these cars here. Okay, so here's the project in um, UE4. So what I'm going to do is, since it doesn't come with a game mode, I'm going to show you how to create one real quick. Uh, so for y'all, you know, like new people out there, because unfortunately it does not come with a game mode, so you have to create one yourself. So when you open the map, just already created one here, but just right click, blueprint class, and create a game mode base. And then just double click that. And right here in the default pawn class, 
Just change it to whatever you want. So let's go with a uh, pickup truck. And I'm going to go compile and then save. I'm going to exit out of that. And then whenever you go to the world settings, you can actually choose that new blueprint one right here, which is the game mode. And now if I press play here, here's the car, the pickup truck. And I can start the engine by pressing T. It's in tango. And now I can drive it around. And we're going to press F11. Now, maybe in the future, they can include that kind of game mode. So you don't have to create it yourself. You can just kind of, you know, open it up and then play right away. But this is pretty darn cool. You can create, like, you know, like a movie. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't drive this. I can't drive this thing. But maybe you can create something like Fast and the Furious Negative 9, you know, like back in the 1950s, Fast and the Furious style racing game in here. Or movie. Dude. <laughs> Terrible, what is going on? <laughs> I can't drive, dude. I can't drive. I'm sorry, man. Like, I took an online driving class. This is what happens when you have online driving classes, okay? But yeah, this is... Oh, man. It's just pretty darn crazy. Like, you know, for for the price of this, I can't break. I need to pay attention. For the price of this map, you get a nice car game. I mean, you can show this to your mom and sh you can probably convince her to like, you know, pay for college, like like a game, like a go to a game college or something like that. Man, I would have fooled my mom if I had this back then. But like, hey mom, check out this game I made. Now, pay $70,000 a year for college. But anyways, this is really cool. <laughs> Can't drive. Even have some telephone. No, let's look at the other cars because this truck is killing me, man. Like literally. So I can change the default pawn right here, and let's do let's do something cool like freaking Formula One drivable right here. Okay, so we have Formula One. We we'll press start with T, and here we go. Looks like motion blur is turned on. Oh man, that, that was a nice drift. Whoa, whoa. Did I just speed up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is just too much, too much fun here. Alright. That looks pretty cool. So let me go ahead and show you what I was talking about as far as um, customizing. So I'm going to go to Blueprints, and let me grab uh, this. Where's that sports one? Because I really like that one. That one looks really freaking cool. It's right here. Oh, no, no, not that one. It's this one right here. This is a really cool car. So if I go right here, go to Details, you can actually have the roof open as well. How cool is that? And you can change the top as well. Looks like you have two options. And in the back and in the top, you have that. If you want a hard top or a soft top, you know, sometimes you want it hard and sometimes you want it soft depending on, you know, the state you're in. If it's like too hot, you know, you want that soft top. So here we go. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. And you can have secondary paint on this. Look at all these customization in here. And you can put dirt on it. Dude. Oh, that's the same one I was doing the other day. And what I like about it is it just doesn't slap, like, dirt on top of it, like, a mess. It looks cooler, like it's actually aging, you know? There's a difference when you just slap dirt on an object. But this one actually looks procedural to me, like it's actually, like, you know, first year, fourth year, seventh year in a freaking garage. Okay, and you can actually turn up the rust as well. Well, that's cool. But yeah, there's just a lot of stuff in here that you can mess around with. I mean, look at this thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it, y'all. If you want to check out this map, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Uh, so they have a lot more than just this. They have been creating for a long time. They have a lot of assets and cars and environments. So go ahead and check them out and support them so maybe they can keep making these amazing environments and assets for us to use in Unreal Engine 4 and 5.